that I'd find myself caring for. Exactly right. Never gave them much thought. Certainly not that bunch in the grove. Yet we came through for them. We saved their lives. Odd. That's more easily said by some than others. But nobody's here to debate right from wrong. Share a bottle with me? We should wait a little while. Until the others have drifted off. Best not keep me waiting. I'd prefer not to entertain myself. Tread carefully. Live a little. came through for us. That's a change from most adults I know. I'm not. I'm glad they can celebrate before we've even got to the gate. Just like I'll be glad to be rid of them once we're there. No more. I can't afford to lose. Go on now. Don't waste a night like this talking to me. We'll discuss your problem tomorrow. In truth, I rarely imbibe. The stuff goes right to my head. Before you know it, I'd be breaking into song or declaring love to the first person I laid eyes on. Go on, enjoy yourself. Seek out some wine before it runs dry. There are a lot of thirsty people around here. I'll just help myself. Can't afford to stay idle. forget our little agreement. As soon as things quiet down here... Let's be quick. I was hoping you wouldn't notice I was gone. No. I'm deeply proud of you. A touch less so of myself. In truth, I don't feel in a festive mood, and I didn't want to cast a grey cloud over the night. We've saved the grove, and everyone hails us as heroes. For you, it's as clear as cool water. You have that heroism within you. But, Karlak is dead. And gods know how many other of my victims were people like her. I shouldn't be celebrated tonight. That's why I left. I'll be fine. Seeing you has cheered me more than you can know. But, off with you. This is your day. Have a dance. Enjoy the music. Some time alone beneath the stars, and I'll be back to my old self. Promise. Still, it's a night to remember. You've made sure of that.
Ah, another. Thy name has been recorded. I shall be here in thy camp. For whenever a man should thou or any of thy compatriots, a matter of coin. Not this one, nor this one, writing the back beyond they bear for a mere pittance of coin, I might summon the worthiest among them to as thou desire. I'm glad you sought me out. Amidst all this merriment, I wasn't sure we'd have a chance to speak this evening. I was hoping you'd spare me a moment. There was something rather magical I wished to show you. More's the pity you've already found someone else to make merry with. Just the two of you. There's something unspeakable about Shallow Heart. But I mean that in a good way. She seems to me like a bud on the cusp of bursting into a rose. That, or deadly nightshade. Far be it from me, of course, to question your tastes. That, my friend, must remain a secret for now. Or rather, for as long as you've eyes only for someone else among our troop. Another night, perhaps. Patience? Have you no respect for showmanship? Having performance issues, Roland. Hush you. And behold! Adoring applause? You're too kind. Remember when he could barely cast that? They grow up so fast. Never have I met such troglodytes. Now, pass the wine. I need to dance! No. No, I need to lie down. Well coordinated, even ironed. There's nothing more satisfying than a well-organized wardrobe.
Don't forget our little agreement. You have no idea how the singing we could probably do with... Enjoy yourself tonight. I'll come and find you in the mornings. This might be the wine talking, but I'm feeling inspired. Thinking of writing my next song about you. But I need an angle. Any ideas? Oh, come on. There must be something. Fitting. You're braver than half this camp combined. That deserves to be remembered. of celebration quiets to a souping hum as you approach your bunk. Though you seek repose, you needn't spend the night alone. There is one who yearns for you in the dark. Who will you seek? Your heart skips a beat. What treasures might this night bestow? You made it. Come here. Sit with me. Lots of people make promises. Few keep them. Well, to begin, I think a toast is in order. Any suggestions? Bold. What does us entail? I suppose I'll find out. To us. Now tell me something about yourself. And no tadpoles, dragons, marauding goblins or anything like that. Something about you. Fishing for blackmail material, that's all. Go on. I insist. Don't laugh, but I'm not quite sure I have anything to share. Where I come from, that's frowned upon. Good. A little mystery will keep you on your toes. There's still plenty of wine, and the whole night is ahead of us. Nearly light. The others will be awake soon. What? I know. But you're sweet to notice. Thank you for last night. Me too. She trails off. You read an invitation in her eyes.
That didn't hurt, did it? Good to know. For the future. Let's head back. If we must. <sighs> I trust you enjoyed your evening. After all your efforts, it was well deserved. It may be some time before you're afforded another such night. There is much to be done, and I promised I would help you however I could. I'm certain a cure for you can be found at Moonrise Towers, but it's complicated. The journey specifically, it's extremely perilous, though it seems you're well accustomed to navigating danger. Wait. There's more you need to know. To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings, tormented, dangerous souls. You could go overland, along the Risen Road or through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the Shadow Curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel somewhere in the ruined Temple of Saluna. It leads to Moonrise Towers through the Underdark. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorm built a secret stronghold deep down there, before rallying a whole army of Dark Justicias, Shah worshippers. Sounds rather ingenious. Aridan and his lot were looking for a way down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. From this stronghold, Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But he was defeated before he could launch an attack. If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path to Moonrise Towers and maybe even bypass the worst of the Shadow Curse. Consider once you see the effects of the curse for yourself. I would like to join your camp, if you'll allow me. I can offer my skills, my counsel. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. It seems our fates have aligned. I advise you start in the Temple of Saluna. If you find the Dark Justicia's hidden entrance, it could lead you all the way to Moonrise. One of the adventurers had a clue to help find it, a dwarf called Brian. It might still be found on his corpse, wherever the goblins left it. May Sylvanus guide us.
Drop your weapons! I'll feed your innards to the ants before I do that, Istik. This is your last chance! No, look up. That was your last chance, Istik. Now burn! Wasting time, Beretha. You're not here to play with the locals. Of course, Kithrak. We merely sought to. No excuses. Question, kill, then move on. Find the weapon. Our queen watches us. Fail her at your peril. Stay clear of those gif. Even the Blade of Frontiers has his limits. We must speak. in response to the Gith Yankee's white, hot stare. Her lips don't move, but you hear her voice. You, stay put and keep your lips sealed. Ryder, my time is short. Lead me to... Shh! Such a familiar tone. Were I not merciful, I would slice the skin clean from your meat. Yet you are not bleeding. For I am nothing if not merciful. Your name, child. Lazel. Lazel. Proud. Regal, even. You will call me Gestil Kithrak. Vos, Knight Supreme. The Queen's Silver, the Queen's Sword. I am who you say. A Geich vessel has fallen from the sky, Lazel. Thieves aboard have taken a weapon most precious. It is polyhedric in shape and inscribed with the sacred runes of our people. You feel Shadowheart's anxiety. The weapon that Voss seeks is the same one the Absolute's followers are hunting. It's the artifact that she carries. Her mind focuses. The Gith's suspicion cannot be aroused. They cannot discover that the weapon they seek is right within their grasp. Take word to your creche. You are to join our search. Speak up, child. Affirm your mandate. My mandate, Gestil Kithrak, is to locate this creche. I was infected aboard a Gaith ship and need to be purified. Your mandate is to aid me. Purified? Oh, Lazel, why must the truth be so bitter? Soon your skin will go gray and your blood will run silver. You will shed your skin to become geek. Only in death are the infected cleansed. But you were on the Nautiloid. You possess what I seek. You will give it to us. Then you will bend your head for the sword. Stand down, knight. I do not have what you seek. Our queen's word binds me. Beretha, see her skull split and her corpse examined. I will take word to Queen Vlakith. Our quest has ended. A current of deception carries Voss's words. Wherever he flies, it is not to Vlakith. To Danos, to the sky!
someone inside out.
Il 